Do you make good decisions? Well, Woody Allen said you are the sum total of your choices, and he's proving that in a disastrous way. But Solomon in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. So what did he mean by that? Well, he meant that good decisions are built on wisdom, God's way, and discipline, knowing what to do and having the courage to do it no matter what the cost. So he begins by saying, trust in the Lord. This is the idea that God is the source of wisdom and the Bible gives us the path to follow. It's pretty straightforward. But he also follows that up with, and don't lean on your own understanding. Here's the reality, and science is proving this. We can't trust our ability to make good choices. There's all kinds of biases that we suffer from all the time. There's a thing called confirmation bias, which means we only seek information that confirms what we already believe to be true. Or there's cognitive bias. When we listen to the news, we hear one side of a story and we believe we know everything about the story. Or there's conformity. Uh, psychologist Solomon Ash did a, a, a study and he found that people fall fell to peer, peer pressure almost every time. Here was, the, here was the experiment. He put a bunch of people in a room and he gave them a very easy question with a very obvious answer. But everyone was in on the experiment except the one person being studied. And as they went around the room, everyone gave the wrong answer. When it came to the final person who was the object of the study, that person knew it wasn't the right answer, but because everyone else gave the answer, they caved into peer pressure. Here's the problem. We can't trust our own understanding. Science is proving that, and the Bible declares that. So the challenge is that we believe we are better than we are and that bad things won't happen to us. So the Bible says, listen, you cannot lean on your own understanding. Instead, in all your ways, you have to submit to God. Why? Because he will make your paths straight. So let me ask you a question. Do you walk in wisdom and in humility? You need to let go of your ego. You need to admit that you need God's direction and you need God's help. And you need to honestly approach every situation in life. This is the power of a faith-filled life. And it's also the power of a faith-filled community. So do you make good decisions? Chances are on your own, like me, Probably not, but if you're willing to trust God, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him. If your choices are anchored in his truth and his way, well then the sum total of those good choices will lead to life, a path that is fulfilling, a life that matters. And that is a stepping stone toward being who God has called you to be.